What's up everyone, Terrell, Aaron Kloss here. I want to thank you so much for joining me for this new segment. I'm so excited. I'm doing this segment right here on the world famous Hollywood Boulevard where the world famous Hollywood Walk of Fame is. Now this segment is one that I like to call Stories Behind the Stars. Now in this segment, what I'll be doing is, I'll be profiling an actor or an actress who not only has a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame, but who has also been in a superhero or sci-fi film or television show. Now since my friend Laura inspired me to do another segment that's kind of similar to this, called Legendary Locations, I want to profile another Laura, who I also love, well, who I don't know personally, uh, Laura Dern. Um, as my way of saying thank you to, or paying tribute to my friend Laura, who inspired me to do that other segment, uh, which inspired me to do this. So thank you, Laura, and let's talk about Laura Dern. Now, Laura Dern started acting when she was really, really young. I mean, really, really young. And she's actually the daughter of fellow actors, Diane Ladd and Bruce Dern. Now, way back in the day, back in 1992, Laura Dern and her mom, Diane, actually made history at the Oscars for being nominated for an Oscar for the same movie at the same time. It was unheard of back then. Now, it was for the movie Rambling Rose, I believe. Yeah, Rambling Rose. Now, throughout her career, Laura has been in a lot of TV shows and movies, but most recently, she was in the sci-fi film Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, I heard that movie wasn't really anything special, but mm, what do you think? So Laura was in The Last Jedi, but she'll always be best known for her role as Dr. Ellie Sattler in the iconic Steven Spielberg sci-fi film, Jurassic Park. Now, she returned for a brief little cameo in Jurassic Park 3, but we didn't see her after that as Dr. Ellie in any of the Jurassic World or anything like that. Now, way back then, like 1993, 1994, Laura actually dated her Jurassic Park co-star, Jeff Goldblum. Now, rumor has it, that Laura chose not to be in any of the Jurassic Park or in any of the Jurassic World sequels because of Jeff Goldblum. A source close to her basically said that Laura said, look, if Jeff's going to be in the, in the Jurassic World films, then I'm not going to be in the Jurassic World films. Now, hopefully this isn't true. It, it is just a rumor, a pretty silly one too. And hopefully there's not like a Me Too situation going on there, if you know what I mean. And I think you do. Because um, I really like Jeff Goldblum, but I love Laura Dern. Um, she is legendary to me. Now, fast forward from 1993 to 1997's Ellen. You know, the Ellen DeGeneres sitcom that got canceled because she came out as gay and it was a whole big thing back in the day. Now, if you are a person of a particular age, or if you just love all things Ellen and Laura Dern, then you already know that Laura Dern actually played the role of the lesbian who got Ellen's character to come out on the show. Now, that show actually, that episode actually aired on April 30th, 1997. And it pretty much led to the cancellation of the show, and Ellen's career pretty much took a, um, a downward spiral after that. But Ellen is a phoenix, and she rose like one as well. And to this day, Ellen and Laura are actually still really good friends. Now, fast forward to 2010. On November 1st, 2010, Laura Dern was presented with the 2420th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for her contributions to the motion picture industry and to the television industry. <laughs> to the whole entertainment industry, actually. Now, what's even awesomer than that is that not only was Lori given a star on that day, but her mom, Diane Ladd, and Laura's dad, Bruce Dern, were also given stars at the same time, at the same ceremony, and all three, Bruce, Diane, and Laura, all got stars right next to each other. It's pretty amazing. I've never heard of that being done before. I've heard of double ceremonies, but never triple. It's amazing. Now, currently, you can see Laura in HBO's hit drama, Big Little Lies, co-starring Reese Witherspoon and Nicole Kidman. And you can also catch Laura in the same role that she plays in the first season, in the second season of Big Little Lies, coming out in 2019 sometime, I believe. Now, even though Laura has been great in pretty much every role that she's been in, my favorite role of hers will always be Dr. Ellie Sattler in Jurassic Park. Anywho, I need to run to Trader Joe's, but before I let you go, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And you can also follow me on Instagram and fly with me on Twitter at creative underscore floss. And 
if you have a cool story about Laura Dern or something silly or juicy, um, or if you have a suggestion as to which star that I should visit next and talk about, leave your thoughts down in the comment section down below or tweet me. I always love hearing from you. And that's my time, like I said, I gotta go. So you can check out another video from me right now, including the video where I talk about how you can get a star if you're an entertainment professional. So, zoom, zap, bam, pow!